and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee, and you can find me at creativelyyours.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S., and super excited that you're here with me today for our crafty fun. Yay! So I am live with you in the chat if you're watching the premiere of this video, or if you're watching on the replay, replay later, definitely leave me a note. Let me know what, you, what you've got going on. And if you've got any questions about today's project, I'd be happy to answer. All right. So what do I have in store for you today? I have a super fun card that is featuring the stamp set that we're going to be using in our upcoming bingo event. So we played bingo March 9th on a Saturday. So we do this via Zoom and we get together and we have a very fun time together. So I hope that you will join us for that. You'll see a link below uh, the video in the description that has information. You can check it out on my website or better yet, be on my email list. That's where you get to know everything that's going on. So we also have, let's see, today is February 13th and we have Maker's Mojo coming up this weekend. That is our creative escape. It is a two-day event with 10 live presentations, lots and lots of alternate samples. You'll get PDF tutorials. There's the video tutorials and it's a great crafting community. So I hope that you will join us for that. So registration's going on now, but jump on in. We are already doing all the pre-event fun. Uh, so there's lots of chances to win prizes. So, all right, I hope you'll join us and uh, let's go ahead and jump into our crafty fun today. All right. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are featuring the stamp set that we're gonna use in our upcoming bingo. Registration ends, I believe, February 24th. So it's coming up here in just a couple of weeks. And we're featuring the Submarine Life stamp set and coordinating punch. Love, 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 love both of these. They're super cute and so much fun to play with all the different elements in the um, in this bundle here. So the project we're making today is this Super cute, I think, super, super cute uh, project. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I made this actually for a demonstrator swap. Um, I love that as a demonstrator, that's one of the many cool things that we get to do is participate in swaps. So a swap is where you make the multiples of the same card and you trade with other demonstrators and uh, then you get back all kinds of fabulous ideas. So it's it's a fun way to, um, you know, try out new stuff and then you get samples of things you, you don't own necessarily. Um, so it is, it is a really good time. We do this every month in our team as well. Um, so you have the option to participate. You don't have to, but it's so much fun. And, uh, you know, so anyway, so we've got fun details on this. And did you notice the portholes, little windows are shiny. So I'm going to show you how I did that to kind of make a little glass look on that one. So, all right. So we will go ahead and um, get started on this one. Um, I do want to tell you that if you have been thinking about uh, joining the Stampin' Up! family, this is a great time to do so because we have our celebration promotion going on. So you have, um, you know, our starter kit is always a fabulous um, deal. It's uh, $99 and you get $125 in product of your choice. So it's fully customizable, which was not that way when I joined. Um, but right now you can get extra. So you can either choose this glass mat studio. So it comes with this large glass mat, which I love, 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 love this. And there's a little silicone tray and a chamois to clean it. And it's really, really great. It's a $60 value. You get it for free. Or if you're not interested in the glass mat, you can choose to add additional $30 to your kit in free product. So it's awesome. We only have a few more weeks left of celebration. Um, so something good to take advantage of now, right? I'd love you to join my diamonds team. All right. So we've started with a eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of crushed curry. And then we've got our designer series paper. Let's see, this is four by four. And this is from the Daisy designer series paper pack. I just love how that looks like um, a water or a sky background. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp in boho blue on this paper, these little bubbles, okay? Super cute, super cute, super cute. 
So we've got that done. I will need that stamp again. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on my card base with my stamp and seal. Now, I typically or historically have put the complete supply list and cut dimensions in the video description. I'm gonna change that for the next few weeks and kind of test it out. Um, I always post these projects on my blog. So I'm gonna put a link to the blog post. Now know that the instructions will be available the following day um, or later that day. I don't typically um, have my blog post posted at the time that I do my, um, my live demonstration. I usually post it later. So we'll play with that and see how that goes. And if I need to change some of that up, I totally will do so. So we'll see how that works out for us. All right, so next, I wanna add the little waves. I guess I can leave this in there. So those are my, my card that we're working on, right? So I wanna add the little waves. So I created these, believe it or not, with this little cloud from the Bright Skies die. So this little border here, I just turned it upside down. So I used it, instead of a fluffy cloud, I flipped it over and made it my lovely waves. So super versatile, love, love those dies. I've used them so much. And let's see, these strips were, let me make sure, I cut these five and a half inches long and one of them is one and a half and the other one is one inch, okay? So I'm gonna place the first one down on my card base. So I'm gonna do this first one flat. So I'm gonna use stamp and seal. You could use something else if you prefer, right? And I'm leaving just a skinny, skinny border of that crushed curry at the bottom. Now this set of waves, I wanna pop up. So I'm gonna use dimensionals. Let's see if I've got some dimensionals handy. Okay, I found some black ones. You don't have to use black ones. And the supply list has will have white ones in it, but um, you can use either color you want to use. I don't think this hurts to use the black ones, but I don't think it would hurt to use the white ones either, okay? And we are going to go ahead and pop the backing off of these. The black ones are nice because you can easily see that the backing paper is off, but one thing I can tell you, if you're struggling with that, knowing if the backing paper is off and you don't wanna to have to continually touch it, it will save you a little bit of time. You could use a highlighter and color the back or Sharpie and color the back of your dimensional sheet. You know what I mean by that? Let me show you a little bit here. So you've got your dimensionals and let me grab a highlighter. So you can take a highlighter and just color right over the top of your sheet. It doesn't have to be solid, but then you can see easily if the backing paper has been removed. Now. You do want this to dry for a little bit before you start handling it, or you're gonna have highlighter everywhere, or Sharpie, either one. They dry fairly quickly, but, um, so that's a nice quick tip on that one. All right, next, let's do our label. So I have cut a piece of white cardstock with the second largest label from the Taylor Made Tags dies. Love these dies as well. I'm a die fan. If you guys didn't already know that about me, so a die fan, right? I don't think you can have too many dies, actually, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, let's bring back in our Boho Blue ink pad, okay? And I am going to ink up my floating by to just say hi. Isn't that cute? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, now I am finding that I do not necessarily need my foam mat when stamping on this glass mat. Um, I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. Um, but if you do, if you are using the glass mat and you do find that you need um, that foam pad, use it, right? But I'm finding I'm just really not needing it with this. All right, let's grab some of our metallic. So this is technically Starry Sky metallic ribbon. I find that the metallic ribbons, you know, the... Um, how do I say this? The color is, is interesting when you deal with metallic type ribbons. So I don't find that they actually match super well to the color they're intended to be. However, I think they go with so much more not matching exactly, right? Like it looks great with blueberry bushel and this boho blue combo. It's not an exact match, but it's a lovely coordinating color, right? Um, so I use these metallic ribbons actually quite often 
and not necessarily with the colors they're intended to be. So I'm just tying my little bow here and you can always snip off the ends if you want to. Let's go ahead and snip off just a smidge here. So I, you know, typically I would leave my ribbon on the spool. Now this, I had a scrap left at the end of the spool, so that's what I use. But this is about nine inches of ribbon for those of you that need to know that information. All right, so I'm gonna put this tag right on here and I'm gonna slide it just slightly under those popped up waves. So let's add uh, some stamp and seal to the back of this. Don't worry, I'll pop up more, I promise. <laughs> it wouldn't be a windy card without a little bit of popping up, right? Now, you guys know you don't have to pop up everything I pop up, but I love it. All right, let's work on our little submarine next. Actually, no, let's do our clouds. All right, I've got two clouds die cut, and I used my Give It a Whirl dies. So we've got lots of clouds right now. You can use our cloud punch. You can use uh, the clouds out of the... Um, Bright skies, there's lots of great clouds in here as well. And then we have clouds, actually, you know what? I did use the bright skies. I am totally telling you wrong. I use the bright skies dies. Here they are, right here. So I use those, not the give it a whirl. Although I use the give it a whirl often. Um, and that is a very similar cloud. It's a little bit different, these two, but very similar. And then it's got some other small ones. What I love about it is the stitching on it, right? It just adds a really nice, element to that. So um, here I thought I used the Give It A Whirl and I used Bright Skies. I'm good with that as well. Um, you could use the Cloud Punch, but, and I love a punch. Don't get me wrong. I love a good punch, but it doesn't have the stitching detail. If they could come up with a way that the punch had the stitching detail, oh my goodness, I would be in heaven. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we're just going to put this down with some liquid glue. So I'm going to put my larger um, one down first. I'm going to kind of Push it up high, right? And so would a, would your little submarine underwater have clouds showing? Okay, maybe that's not so realistic, but I like it. So I did it anyway. So you do what makes your heart happy. It doesn't matter. It's a card, right? It's not real life. It's a card. So um, for those of you that this is making crazy because I put clouds in my water, <laughs> um, let it go, right? It's okay. I still think it's super cute. So I'm just gonna put some dimensionals right on there. So this is another one. It would have been really good for me to color with the highlighter. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Depends on how frustrated I'm getting. And I'm gonna pop up this second cloud here. All right, we're coming along really nicely. All right, let's pull in a little scrap piece of white, basic white. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna stamp my lovely little submarine. Now, when it comes to solid images like this, if you are concerned at all that you aren't gonna get a good stamped image, set this up on your stamp positioning tool, right? Let's move that up so you guys can see that better. Um, you can set this up on your stamp positioning tool. That way you can double stamp it if you want. But I'll tell you, if I don't get a good stamped image the first time, I'm gonna stamp over the top of it a second time. I know, it's crazy, right? And I am, let's see. I'm gonna go all in right there. Let's see how this works. That looks pretty good. And as, while that looks a little um, not solid even, as it dries, it will kind of work itself out. So I'm not gonna worry about that at all. This will work out well, I think. I'm pretty pleased with this. And then I am gonna punch this out with this lovely coordinating submarine builder punch, right? So our punches come flat and locked. There's a picture on one end, picture on the top. Unlock it, slide, and it expands. This is the part you squeeze. This is where your paper goes in. So I'm gonna slide my little uh, submarine in there. So cute. And easily punch it out. So once you get it where you want it, right? Um, give it a light squeeze, and then you can grab two hands. You could even leave this flat on the table, so if your arthritis is bugging you, Right, I have that issue. I don't know if anybody else does, but if your arthritis is bugging you, you can lay this flat on the table and punch it as well. All right, so we've got this. Let's go ahead and do our window so it has a little time to dry. So I am taking in my fine tip glue pen. Do you guys love this? I find, actually, I used to use it all the time on intricate things, but I find that if I put enough glue, 
on there for it to not dry before I'm ready, um, that it takes, I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those things I haven't done. If I use just a, a tiny bit of glue, um, then it seems to dry before I can get it down. So I don't think that I am good at it, right? Um, so I am just squeezing some glue and I'm using the tip to kind of spread it out. The more glue you put on here, the more, I'm trying to get those bubbles out. Although it's a submarine, so maybe there should be bubbles. There's lots of bubbles up here. Um, so I have squeezed out liquid glue. Now I'm gonna wipe the tip here. Now this stuff, once this dries, let me kind of slide that. So you got this pin and it's gonna slide down into that tube. It's not easy to get in. You can take some practice and then tighten that up. So don't leave this open on your table for any length of time. If that glue dries in the pin, and I've watched all kinds of videos where people are saying, oh, here's how you get it out. It never works for me. I'm gonna be honest. And I, um, I have multiple bottles that I cannot get a lid down into. So I am waiting for a bottle to empty and I'll just change the tips out, right? <laughs> so I have a few that I'm very cautious. So I don't know if you can see that lovely shine and raised image. So we're gonna set this aside and let that dry. Let's go ahead and work on our other pieces. So again, the more um, glue you put on there, the longer it's going to take to dry. All right, so I have my little, kind of looks like a little plunger, right? Top, I think it's like a little megaphone thing. And then my propeller, I wanna add on here. So I'm gonna bring in my punch and kind of look at the orientation of this so that I am stamping these in a good place. So I am actually gonna stamp my propeller on this side, right? Now you could set these up and um, on a scrap piece of paper, like stamp or punch out of a scrap piece of paper. And since these are gonna be stamped in the same color, you could stamp them all at one time. It's a time-saving trick. So if I were going to do multiples of this card, like if I was making a stack of 20, I would probably go ahead and set it up on the block together. But since I'm just doing one, I'm going to do it this way and, and show you guys this. But you could definitely set these up and, and stamp and punch them all out at once. All right, so there's that. Let's do the plunger. So this is blueberry bushel. And based on the orientation of my punch, I'm going to go that direction. with My little plunger guy. Maybe that's not what it is. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> and place that right in my punch and punch this one out as well. All right, perfect. You guys know what I mean by the template, right? Let me grab a scrap piece of paper and show you what I mean. A little concerned that you don't know what I mean. So you can come in, take a scrap piece of paper. Now this won't punch great because I'm on a computer paper. Oh, actually it did better than I would have thought. And I did not bring a scrub to clean my stamps. So let me stamp on the scrap and kind of get these a little bit cleaned, right? So I don't end up with terribly inky fingers. I brought nothing with me to clean with. So there's the little propeller guy. All right, I might get a little inky, but it's okay. So you can literally Set this up, place your stamps right in, oh, I'm not even in camera, am I? Okay, so I've got my punched image. I'm gonna place my stamp, and you gotta make sure you put it the correct side down. So the smooth, completely smooth side needs to be facing up because you want your stamped image down in the hole. So you can line this up, right? Right into your stamped, and if your block was big enough, mine is not, pick up the stamped images. Now I can stamp those and punch them both out at one time. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm just gonna place them on my block for cleaning later because I am done with them for now. All right, hopefully that made sense. I should have prepared to show you that, that nifty little trick. All right, <clears throat> so I have a second uh, summering that I pre-stamped and did the glue because the glue is not yet dry on my other submarine. So I've got another one. So I wanted to tell you that because I don't want you to think that it dried that quickly because it did not dry that quickly, okay? 
Um, it takes some time for that liquid glue to, to fully dry because you don't want it to be sticky or you're going to get fingerprints in it. All right. Now, I am going to put dimensionals down at these edges, right? Because I'm going to hook my propeller and my little uh, plunger looking thing on those, right? So let's take the backing off all of this. Okay. And then let's go ahead and add our little propeller. I want it just lower, okay? Now, it's barely grabbing. I've barely got it. And I'll flip that back over. So as you can see, I've barely got it grabbed, but that's okay. It's just to get my placement. So I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid glue right there and on this propeller here as well. Okay. And then I'm gonna place this on my card base. All right. So. I'm gonna slide it over just a smidge. Let's go right there. And then I have a moment, since I use liquid glue, I have a moment that I can adjust the angle if I don't like it, right, before that sets. So super cute, right? Now you could add some Winka Stella to your clouds. You could, um, or to the bubbles, that would be fine. You could add some gems. I just didn't think it needed it on this card. All right, now let's bring our de design to the inside. I love to bring my design to the inside. So I've got a piece of, um, let's see. Did I write it down? I think it's four by four. I think it's the same. No, it's not. It is four, let me measure. It is four by four and a quarter, my white piece. Four by four and a quarter. Now we are gonna stamp, so let me show you what I did. I brought this super cute fishy on the inside. I love that. So let's go ahead and stamp this first and get this one going. Let's make sure I'm in camera for you guys. And I'm gonna start with the hello at the bottom and then I'm gonna work my way up. So I've got my blueberry bushel. Stamp my hello. Super cute. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to our crushed curry and we will do our little fishy. Now, when I'm done, I'm almost done, but when I'm done, I will show you guys a sneak peek if you'd like to see it of our bingo projects that we're gonna be making. Love, 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 love. Um, Perfect, all right, and then let's grab the bubbles one more time. And we will add the bubbles. I'm gonna turn it this way. I like the small bubble up high. And we'll put our little bubbles on there. Super cute, super, super cute. And then we'll add this layer to the card inside. Alrighty. And put some stamp and seal right on that layer. Get that right inside. Perfect. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, I could have had this layer go all the way across, but I really wanted to mimic this panel that I'm doing there. So that's why I did what I did. Could you stamp on this background, this, this um, Background here, sure, you definitely could. You can make this in all kinds of colors. You know, of course, I went directly to the yellow submarine, but uh, that is not how you have to use this uh, stamp set. So you guys wanna see the um, the projects we're gonna make at Bingo? Give you a little sneak peek. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So now when you join us for Bingo, you get a little goodie bag from me. Um, so everyone's a winner, but you have the opportunity to earn prizes as well because we are going to play six games of bingo for fun um, and I will give away some prizes and then um, we're gonna make our cards. So it's a three card class. And then um, I, of course, I have an ordering special where you can get an additional three card kits if you'd like them. Those I'm not gonna show. Those are exclusive for those that attend bingo. So let me move these out to the side and show you our fabulous cards. So this is our first one that we got. I love this one. So again, I stayed with the yellow submarine, but super, super cute. Then we're gonna do some direct ink to paper. 
and some fussy cutting with our little cute sea animals. And then we've got one more submarine that we've changed uh, to our red color. All right, super cute, super cute, super cute. Um, so don't forget we have Maker's Mojo going on this weekend, oh, Friday and Saturday. I'm super excited about it. Um, if you're not familiar with that, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. You can find all the details on my website. And of course, join my email list so that you stay up to date on all the stuff I've got going on. We also have another week. Let's see. Yes. Uh, Tuesday is our final day. Next Tuesday is our final day to uh, register for this month's Cultivated Creativity, which is our DIY paper crafting kit. That is an amazing kit that is bundled and sent to you every month that you're a subscriber. And when you subscribe for six months in a row, you get a free gift. Uh, and we are featuring the Hot Air Balloons Bundle. So there is a sneak peek of those projects on my YouTube channel. You can find that and check that out. I uh, hope you will join us if you're not already a Cultivated Creativity subscriber. And then last but not least, Forget Me Not. Forget Me Not is my avid card club. I have both a tutorial only option as well as um, a product club option, which gives you the actual cut kits. But check that information out as well. If you're ready to take, you know, step up your cards, you're, you're, you want to do some cards that are going to take a little bit more time, learn some fun techniques, fun folds, lots of fun folds. I love fun folds. And um, really kind of elevate what you're doing. Uh, that is an amazing program as well. I use everything under the kitchen sink for that one. All right, perfect. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you're enjoying the content, give me a thumbs up. Share this with your crafty friends. I'd love for them to take a lunch break with us uh, every Tuesday at 1230 Eastern. All right, uh, I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you again next Tuesday for another fun paper crafting class. All right, bye for now.